good morning good afternoon and good evening to all of you i am dr raj welcome to my videos hello everyone in this video let us discuss about nlp based test automation framework when i say the nlp it's nothing but natural language processing according to wikipedia natural language processing is a subfield of computer science and artificial intelligence concerned with the interactions between computers and human languages that is natural languages in particular how to program computers to process and analyze large amounts of natural language data in short when i speak to the computers in my own language the computer has to understand nlp has been existing since 1950 but in recent years we are making a lot of successful stories and it is keep evolving day by day some of the examples are email classification whether an email is a spam or a legitimate email and the next one is the sentiment knowledge is for different domains and then comes the popular voice assistants the voice assistants like this google home alexa siri cortana When I say a hey, Google turn on light my room light will glow so there is a human voice and based on the voice input there will be an action voice action keeping that in mind I started to apply the same concept in test automation space As you all know in order to get a quality software we execute hundreds and thousands of test scripts we design and develop frameworks we write hundreds and hundreds lines of code we prepare test data and then we execute these test scripts for quality checks of the applications the application may be web application or mobile app or desktop applications but the question is how do we execute the test scripts the current test automation execution methods are the first one we used to have a driver file or test runner files we also use jenkins sci tool for executions sometimes we use windows scheduler we use command prompt we use dot bat files and we also use the xml files along with that i am also introducing a voice based test execution for example when i say a hey, robo automate test 1 a test 1 has to be executed when i say hey robo automate test suit number 2 the suit 2 might comprise of 100 test cases and that should run give us a report when i say hey robo get me the report the latest report should be displayed so apparently i am controlling my execution process via my voice now let us see how it works i give a statement through a microphone there is a speech recognition software that will collect as audio frames and it will and it will convert it to an audio file 
that audio file will be sent to AI Cloud. The real conversion of speech to text will happen here in the cloud. Here, we can either use our own NLP model or we can get it done via external API calls. For example, IBM Watson, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Transcribe, and Google APIs. Basically, the AI cloud will convert the spoken statement to a text message and send back to the automation framework. Then the script will check the matching test cases and start executing the appropriate test script. Finally, a report will be generated by the framework. Now let us see the demo. In this demo, I am going to show how an audio input will trigger test 1 and test 2. When I start executing the accelerator, first it will show listening. I have to give a voice command and based on the voice command, it will invoke the test. Once the test is completed, the system will give a voice message that automation has been completed for test 1. If it doesn't understand my voice, it will ask me to say it again. The test 1, it will open Geico web page and fill some details. In the test 2, the Google web page will be open and it prints a text. Let us see the live demo. I am opening the terminal. I am using the Python 3. Can you automate test 1? now I mean it's going through giving the value. automation has been completed for test one this time let us run the second test I want to automate test two. Yeah, it is started now. It is It is giving the my name. It is closing the browser now. Automation it, has been completed for test two. We will give you any wrong input or no input at all. Let us see how it will behave. I am sorry, can you please come again? Now let us come back to our PPT. What are the main benefits of this accelerator? It accelerates test execution cycle. It, acts, it also accelerates QA processes. It is easy to implement and it is adoptable and extendable for any frameworks. I can give some more examples. In future, I can sit in front of my laptop and ask, Hey Robo, get me the smoke test report executed last week. I can also extend and ask, Hey Robo, compare today's report with the last week test. Likewise, we can extend many things. Sky is the limit with the AI. We will do more in future. Thank you so much 
for watching this video. Please give me your comments and feedback. Thank you all.